what's up guys, today I'll be showing you the Butter Smooth ROM. This ROM was developed by my good friend Zane. His username on XDA is DroidModder, so he is a developer. And he actually developed this ROM, and it's really great. And he actually did all the work on his ROM by himself. He actually themed it all, he did it all, and he's actually a pretty new developer from what I've seen. I don't know if he's new to developing, but I don't know, it seems like he is. But yeah, this is uh, his ROM, it's called the Butter Smooth ROM. It is pretty much named after being really smooth and that is exactly what it is. It's very smooth, it has tons of theming, awesomeness, it's just a really cool ROM. So if you open the apps you can see that, um, I've already installed some apps here, but you do get Chrome pre-installed so that's pretty cool. Actually, yeah, I think it was pre-installed. You do get the Android 4.2 camera, that's pretty cool. Uh, you get some other goodies as well such as, let's see, there's one in here. You get the Wi-Fi tether mod. Uh, that's pretty sweet. You get VPN client. I think that's usually in there all the time. You get Super User instead of Super SU. I know we've seen Super SU on a couple of ROMs lately. But yeah, there's lots of stuff. Um, there's also a choice of different launchers. So you can use TouchWiz or Apex. Uh, both are pre-installed. Obviously, TouchWiz launcher is pre-installed. But yeah, you can use Apex if you'd like to. And most of the bloatware is gone as well. You can't really see much bloatware. There's not that many S stuff as there usually is in the TouchWiz uh, base stuff. And yeah, you removed a bunch of bloatware and that is pretty sweet. It also has the stock Nexus boot up animation, so that's pretty cool. Now, what I really did like is that when you go into the notification bar, you can see that the toggles sort of swipe up right there. I think that's a really cool feature and I really do give him props to that because it seems like that would be a hard thing to do in a ROM, but he managed to do it somehow, so that's pretty awesome. And you do have these custom toggles up here. I don't know if you can change these, I actually haven't even looked. But yeah, it's pretty cool because you have these custom toggles up here. You get flashlight, hotspot, GPS, Bluetooth, data, and Wi-Fi. So the, those are pretty much like all the toggles that I use every day. I, I'm constantly turning off my data because uh, battery life and stuff. So yeah, basically, if you want to turn on your flashlight, you just click that, and then it turns on your flashlight, so that's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. And also, you have the nice hotspot feature, so you can just turn that on, and then you can connect all your Wi-Fi devices to it, so that's pretty sweet. But yeah, guys, let's go to About Device. Let's go to Android version 4.1.1. We get our Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, as you can see. And the wallpaper that's pre-installed on this is very nice. Now, if we actually go to the lock screen, you can see here that we also have a really nice wallpaper. It actually didn't show it there, but there we are. So this is the uh, lock screen. Of course, it's just normal, but I don't know if you guys noticed so far, but the theme is like red and black, and it's really cool, actually. Hop into your apps, you can see all of these red and black themed icons. It's really sweet, and what's also really cool is the keyboard. So if we go ahead and add a new message, you can see that the keyboard is all red and black, and when you highlight it, it sort of glows. You can see there, it sort of glows. But yeah, you can also uh, swipe around. It's swipe pre-installed. It's a really cool keyboard. I really like it. Um, there's also some other stuff in here. I haven't really looked through it all. It took like an hour just like playing around with it. It's just so cool. It has lots of theming options. But yeah, this is a pretty cool ROM that I recommend for people who just want this like sort of look, I guess. Uh, and a smooth experience. It's really smooth. And the color scheme is also really cool. It's really really awesome. I just love it. It's very, I don't know, I can't really pick a word to describe it. You can see that you also have a custom uh, battery bar up there. It's sort of like a circle with a percentage in the middle. And yeah, that's really cool. But overall, guys, there's no bugs in this ROM. This ROM is like fully bare bones, just awesomeness, smooth for all your Sprint Galaxy S3 users. So yeah, this is just an awesome ROM, guys. I really do recommend it. There'll be a link to the description, and big shout out to DroidMonitor for developing this ROM. So I guess thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you all later.